Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here, and today I'm going to be going over the performance and improvements for a few games in the latest version of Simu, which is 1.6.1. It's amazing to see how quickly this emulator is improving, and I have nothing but praise for the Simu dev team. So without further ado, let's get into our first game, which is Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is one of the most stable games on Simu right now, and is getting insanely close to replicating the Wii U version. Besides the occasional frame drop from the solid 60 FPS and the expected shader issues, this game runs without a hitch. The horrible audio screeching from past versions is nowhere to be found and the color seems far more accurate. When comparing this footage to gameplay from the Wii U though, it looks like Simu is a bit more washed out and is missing some small details. Nonetheless, Mario Kart 8 is definitely playable on 1.6.1 and will be an extremely stable experience. The next game on the list is Super Smash Bros 4. If you're wondering why there's no footage, that's because, well, the game doesn't exactly launch. Once going through the press any button screen, you are greeted by an eternal black screen with no end in sight. At the point of making this video, I haven't found any workaround for this, however I am confident that this will be patched in the next update. Third on the list is Super Mario Maker. Simo has always handled Mario Maker pretty well, and 1.61 is in the same boat. There is no longer the strange texture stretching glitch from 1.6.0, and it runs at an insanely solid 60 frames per second. Mario Maker is almost near perfect as far as I can tell, and the mouse and keyboard support works very smoothly. You shouldn't have any problems running this game on 1.6.1. The next game on my list is New Super Mario Bros. U. I've tried running Mario Bros. for the past 4 or so versions, and I have never managed to get past the title screen. I'm not entirely sure if this is a Simu problem or a ROM problem. Unlike every other game I have for Simu, Mario Bros is a Lodine file as opposed to the more typical WUD or WOX. I wish I could give a more definite answer on this one, but until I get my hands on a WUD for this title, I can't really conclude anything. Fifth on the list is Super Mario 3D World. Not only is this one of the most fun games on the Wii U, but one of the best performing too. Staying almost consistently in the 60s and 50s, 3D World is proving to be pretty stable. There are definitely frame drops during explosions or a lot of action, but it's still a steadier version than the last version of Simu. So far I have not run into any crashes with this game, however I have only played through all of World 1. If the rest of the game performs as good, 3D World should be very playable on 1.6.1. Last on our list today is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Wind Waker is not fully playable on this version of Simu. Although it maintains a rather solid 30 frames per second, I experienced the same crash two times in the same area. The beginning is pretty playable up until the part where you venture into the forest and start the first fight. Almost immediately after you engage, Simu will crash. The performance is promising in this build, but that crash definitely stops it from being playable on 1.6.1. One last thing to mention is that in 1.6.1, Simu added NFC support. Now, I don't have any amiibos or an NFC reader for that matter, but I assume that amiibos may work in this build. Also, a universal problem with Simu is that text is still very spotty. In many pop-ups and games, it is impossible to tell which option is yes or no, and that is still one of the biggest features I'm waiting for a patch on. If you guys aren't having the same experience or performance as I did, it helps a ton to play the game for a little bit and then relaunch. This will help with the cache and boost frame rates an enormous amount. Also, keep in mind I'm running this on a rather high-end system with an i7 4790K and a GTX 1070. This is definitely more than what is necessary for Simu, but your specs definitely play a part in performance. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please leave a like or hit that other button to show what you thought. I plan on doing some more videos like this for future Simu releases and some other Simu related topics. Also, let me know if there are any other games you guys are interested in seeing. I tried to pick the most popular Wii U games out, but I definitely missed some that you guys might want to see. Also, I tried to get some proper benchmarks for this video, however Fraps only worked on Simu with Mario Kart 8. I'll try to get some more exact numbers for the next video. Also, please consider subscribing, it helps a ton. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.